this is the second problem on the direct stress here the cross section of a beam has a dimension shown in figure a if the beam is subjected to negative bending moment of 100 kilo newton meter applied in a vertical plane determine the distribution of direct stress to the depth of the section this is the given problem in this given problem uh, if we observe a negative bending moment negative bending moment of 100 kilo newton meters is given which is applied on a vertical plane it's applied in a vertical plane so obviously the bending moment is mx it's acting in negative direction so we can consider as a negative sign then if you observe the cross section the given cross section it's a i section symmetrical with respect to both the axes so whenever a cross section is symmetrical with respect to both the axes dxy equal to 0 and here given that mx obviously the my will become 0 my equal to 0 so this is the data with respect to problem whatever we got then you can observe the dimensions of the cross section here uh, so the top flange width is given that 200 mm and the bottom flange is also same width of thickness 20 mm it's symmetrical to the top flange then total depth of the section is given that 300 mm in that we can consider that the web portion has a depth of 260 mm so as from this figure this depth is 260 mm, 260 mm, then its web thickness 25 mm. This is the given data as per the problem. So, what we need to find first of all that is, we need to calculate the direct stress of the given cross section. So, as you know, that the direct stress can be calculated by using sigma z formula. Sigma z formula we need to write first of all as per the steps what we need to calculate we observe the solution as per the solution we have some steps it has 3 to 5 steps depending upon the given problem first of all we write down the given data so the given data mx is we have to write then my equal is to 0 and ixy is 0 as per the previous discussion in step 1 calculating the centroids of the given cross section we need to calculate the centroids of the given cross section. In step 2, we need to calculate the sectional properties, cross sectional properties, uh, the second moment of inertia, Ixx, Iyy, and Ixy. Depends upon the cross section, we need to calculate. Then, next in step 3, step, uh, we need to substitute the values of uh, Mx and My for direct stress. Then, finally, in step 4, analyzing the direct stress at different points. Then we calculate the neutral axis location in step 5. If it is required as per the problem, we will calculate, otherwise, we can skip, skip this step. So, first of all, the given cross section is doubly symmetrical so that the centroid C of the section and therefore the origin of the axis coincide with the midpoint of the web. Then, in that case, we can say that Ixy equal to 0. It's a, doubly symmetrical cross section then Ixy will become 0. Then next the bending moment is applied to the beam section on a vertical plane so that the axis becomes the neutral axis of the beam section. We therefore need to calculate the second moment of area Ixx about the axis. So then we need to calculate the Ixx. So first of all we need to write the sigma z formula. Sigma z formula that is my into ixx minus mx into ixy by ixx iyy minus ixy square this whole term multiplied with x plus mx into iyy minus my into ixy by ixx iyy minus ixy square of y. So, this is the direct stress formula. In this formula, if we substitute my equal to 0 m y equal to 0 as per the given problem and i x y equal to 0. So, if you substitute m y equal to 0, i x y equal to 0, 
then m y here this term will become 0, then i x y this entire term will become 0. The next point here m x into i y y minus m y into i x y, so i x y becomes 0, then what, what we will get is sigma z equal to sigma z equal to if you simplify the whole equation, we will get m x by i x x into y into y. This is the equation we got. Now we already m x is given that is m x equal to it is acting in negative direction. So, minus 100 kilo Newton kilo Newton meter is given. So, convert this as in terms of Newton meter minus 100 per kilo Newtons 10 power 3 then it becomes Newton. Then per meter if you multiply with 10 power 3 then it becomes mm. So, we will get in terms of Newton mm. The next point here we need to calculate Ixx. So, this Ixx can be written as Bd cube by 12 for a total rectangle section minus then other two portions of the small rectangles if you remove then we get total Ixx. So, it is nothing but the given cross section the entire cross section if you consider under a small rectangle like this. Now, if you remove the small two portions like this is entire rectangle is big one and two small rectangles this is one and two small two rectangles. So, for entire big rectangle the capital uh, bd cube by 12 minus then small two rectangles 2 into that is small here this width if I consider as b and depth as b for a small rectangle then we can write it as bd cube by 12. Then it gives the value of total ixx total ixx is equal to capital bd cube by 12 minus 2 into small bd cube by 12 capital b and here it becomes the capital b so as per the given problem capital b equal to 200 and capital d equal to 300 now, if you substitute, you will get the value of Ixx, Ixx, then that is approximately 193.7 into 10 power 6. Then after that, if you substitute in sigma z, then that is 100 into 10 power 6 by 193.7 Ixx value into 10 power 6 into y. So, this will be minus 0 0.52 into y. This is the equation we got here. Now, by using this equation, we can calculate direct stress at different points. So, as per the given cross section, it is a symmetrical I section, symmetrical I section, uh, then majorly our sigma z formula, sigma z formula that is minus of 0 0.52 into 0 0.52 into y is there means the direct stress is varying with respect to y. Then if you observe the cross section, the given cross section from the centroid at the topmost location this value is 175, 150, 150 positive 150 and bottom negative 150 from the centroid. If you measure this value is minus 150 and above positive 150. This is the y direction so positive 150 then this is the maximum value you will get in the top and bottom planes with respect to that so positive 150 that will give the value of minus 78 newton per mm square so it is minus so we can say it is compression the next value when you substitute minus 150 then it gives for bottom 
then it gives uh, 78 Newton positive value Newton per mm square that is tension. So, this is the direct stress distribution for the given problem, direct stress distribution. 